episode of what horse if you can tell i am horse yes can't hardly talk <laughs> i'll let you do your thing we'll be right back after these messages hi it's your friend abby at jim armstrong super just wanted you to know kbb voted super best overall and most trusted brand once again ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitched product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you'll ride 
go on one tomorrow. We're talking. Yeah, we're talking. You're it, right. it was important. <laughs> Walking into Smokies is March 30th through April the 1st in Sevierville, Tennessee, located at Smoky Mountain Arena. Contact Lexi Stinnett, 828-550-8520. Start time is 545. Patrick Thomas, Derek Bonner, and Jamie Hankins will be the judges. Youth equine support is April the 8th in Lynchburg, Tennessee. You can contact Francis Bates at 931-703-9797 or Marcy Allison, 931-639-2518. Start time 4 p.m. Now here's your judges. We're gonna draw these judges out before the class. These are all approved judges. Here they go, Joe Fleming, Dean Baird, Dick Peoples, Callaway Dial replaced Russ Thompson, who has a prior commitment, Mickey McCormick, Jeanette Balcom, Sid Baker, Wayne Aby, Link Webb, and Charles Johnson. The 11 and under show pleasure has been changed to 17 and under. And here's, here's the good part. It became a, a question if it was a rule violation. You know how we was going to do the first time to show. Yes. We was going to let the flat shot go the first way, Forms horse go the second way. But according to the rules, the horse is supposed to pass in front of the judge both ways. So rather than get into a legal battle that we'd have to go to the Supreme Court to settle, we decided to change it and make it an A and B class. They'll go both ways of the ring, both flat shot and performance, and that way we won't have no conflict. Yes. And it's going to be fun because we're going to give out $1,200 in cash, and you don't qualify. I want that known right off the bat. I'm, I'm 17 under. I don't want to see you 17 <laughs> under what? I don't want to see your name in the pot at all. We got a couple of victory passes from the Penny Royal, and then we're going to talk a little bit more. So let's show those victory passes from the Penny Royal. That's a nice horse. Yes, it is. I talked to Jack during the training show. He was he was still tickled with his ride in the Penny Royal. He made a real good show. A little horse gets it done. It's walk and shake all over. That's all it's supposed to do is walk and shake, right? Yep. And right there is a little lady that made a great show. Oh, yeah. That, little, that young lady makes good shows every time she goes in the show ring. Whatever she riding, performance, flat shot, it don't make no difference. Well, she gets it done, there's no doubt about it. Congratulations, Only thing I don't think I haven't seen in the model class, and showing the model horse, and I say pretty soon she probably showing them one of them. You're probably right. She can figure out a way to talk yeah, her daddy that, into that's it. That's right. Uh, there was a lot of questions about the inspections this weekend. A lot of things were pointed out. And I told some people I would check and see. However, I have not, you know, we made a mistake when we was in Alabama going on somebody's word and it backfired and I had to apologize. So I'm not going to apologize for this. I emailed the USDA and asked them a question and I'm hoping they will answer it but next week we will address it. If they don't answer it, I can only assume that the statement I heard was correct. So the people that asked me to check and see, I did. I haven't heard back. And if I don't, then we will do the assumption that you were correct because I've asked to find out the truth. Yes. And we'll, we will know. But all in all, the uh, 
trainer show went pretty well. It I did. It, it went on pretty good. I mean, the, the, I ain't going to say the government didn't interfere. They did drastically. And it cut down the number of horses. But if you look at last year versus this year, they're pretty compatible. Yes. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, I've got a problem with a horse passing a DQP and then the government turning him down. And that's more or less saying DQP is not doing their job, which they are. Uh, the trainers even get upset with the DQP sometimes because he does his job the way he's supposed to. But now they don't want to refer a horse back. And to be quite honest, if a DQP turned down my or passed my horse and then they turned him down, I'd tell them, you send him back to DQP all day, but DQP is not the one to turn this horse down. You are. And they should write the ticket. They, they shouldn't dump it off on the DQP so they can say, well, the DQP wrote the ticket, but leave out the part that he broke it because he wrote the ticket because I told him he better. All right, let's go to Trainer's Show Victory Passes. And we have some good ones. I tell you, this show has some good, talented horses that was in there. Oh, tell me about it. I mean, every class has, I mean, three or four. And some of them, every one of them was real good. Well, this class here was a real good class. This show pleasure class. Oh, man, there was a lot of talent out there. Yes. And right there was a lot of talent. Georgia, Florida line, Knox Blackman took the blue for Robert Dorch. Walking chick, Mickey McCormick for Nora Alexander. Lipstick on his collar, Jeff Lachlan for Kerry DeArmond. An executive privilege, John Allen Calloway for Bonnie Logston. And Cisco Kid, Big Bill Calloway for Holcomb and Masters. I'll tell you, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. You look at any one of these horses in this ring here, and you see, nice. you see talent. You see talent on every one of them. That horse right there, he just, like old Time X watch, he just keep on ticking now. He just, he walks and shakes. Right. Old Mickey sets up in that saddle, yeah. doesn't he? Uh -huh. That floor line, I mean, I tell you, you can look around and you're going to see him doing that same lick every time you turn yep. around. He's going to be there. You know, some of them other horses will come in good and fade out, and some of them will fade, be fade out and then turn around and be good. But now when he comes in that ring, he's good both ways. Yes, he is. He's consistent. Georgia, Florida line, and Knox Blackburn for Robert Dorch. I love watching flat walk. Yeah. I really do. I love a, a flat out slow flat walk. I just want to thank everyone for coming out and watching the show. Well, I do too. Here's the show pleasure, five and under. Honors Image and Tanner Burks took the blue in this one for Shane Porterfield. Kid Can Do. Tyler Balkum for Robert Dorch. Chris Angel, R.M. Kellett, Spencer, and Kerry Benedict. Evan Williams, Black Label. Robbie Bradley for Jacob West. Into the Wild Blue Yonder, Philip Tremble. Kerry Arrington, Five Star Honor. Dan Waddell. George and Kim Lewis. A strong chill, Mike Overcast for LaRue McWaters. And he walks on water, Blaze Picard for Dudley Logan. Oh, I was saying, the horses that showed, now I'm gonna tell you, there's they, some nice horses that showed over there this past weekend.
<laughs> Just about every one of your classes is full of good horses. Oh, yes. You know, I just, my, my whole complaint was the difference in the inspection area from Friday night to Saturday night. And from Thursday night to Friday night. Yeah. I mean, I don't buy it. They can say what they want to, but I do not buy it. And I don't buy a VMO going from being real hateful and rude to being sweet as ice cream. Yes. Yeah. You know, my biggest thing is I just want them to pick, go one way and then stay that way. Stay that way. Stay there. Don't be Instead changing what you're doing. Up and down and go like the wind blows. Yep. Honor's image, Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. That's a nice horse. Yeah. Right there, kid can do the reserve in this class. That horse is changing colors. Yeah. Uh huh. That's a nice horse. He's a super nice horse yes, now. He is. And, and Robert. Robert's got a... he got a bunch of good horses now. He does. Well, sometimes you find something. I can just pick them. Yeah. Like, what was it? Casey Wright's little girl said, I guess he's just a good picker. <laughs> well, he's a good picker. Here's Thursday night. I, I tell you what, I was tickled for Baron Witherspoon. Yeah, Baron made a good show. Yes, he did. Jen Shadow. And Baron Witherspoon wins the amateur. I tell you, Baron's a big fan of them kids, too. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, he's all about trying to support this kid program. Good rider. Amateur three-year-old stay, and now this was an exceptionally good class. Yes. It really was. There was a couple in there that could flat get it done. Robert Dorse was on one of them, and Jake Jacobs on the other. Yeah. And when you were watching them, you knew that one of them was going to get it. Slamming hot, and Robert Dorse took the blue. He's chilling out, Jake Jacobs. My addiction, Howard Eastridge. And I'm hot. Uh, Doc Holliday. Joseph Abernathy finished out the ribbon. Okay, they had some nice horses at this show. Yeah, they did. There's a lot of good horses. Yeah. Howard's on a nice one yeah. there, too. Now, about two months from now, uh -huh. those horses will be better than they are now. Oh, yes. In the year right there, you know, this, this 
<coughs> as the weeks go on, they get better and better. Get back in that show mode. And he's considering, you know, it was pretty cold in the night, too. Yes, it was. Them horses get kind of frisky. Yes. When it's cold like that. Just to show you how frisky, did, did you see what, uh, uh, old Jose did the other day when they turned him yeah, out? Yeah, uh-huh. Holy mackerel. He's jumping and kicking and bucking. Looked like a baby. Real good horse. That's another man, Robert. He loved these ho showing them horses. Love the show. Love the show. He hasn't owned that one that long. Our horse of is looking real good right there. I think so. I thought he was on a real good mount. Yeah. Flaming hot, Robert Deutsch. Nice, nice. Pretty fine, too. Oh, yeah. Sit, sit back on your brow. Get him, Robert. And here's chilling out, Jake Jacobs. Yep. It's a nice one, too. That is a nice horse. Usually both of those got a different way of going. Oh, yeah. Real nice. Getting it done. Here's your Pro-Am class. This was a good class. Twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong with Tyler Balkum took the blue. The American King. Jay Mitchell and Clay Sanderson. She is twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong. She rode the first way and Tyler took him home. Nice horse right there. Oh, that's real nice. She went home, she's tickled to death. She got to show twice. Right. <laughs> and right here, a Jen Twin and Kendra I Meyer. I tell you, that horse is nice now. <laughs> <coughs> yes, sir. A real show. He sure did. To be out that's the first time he's shown in a yes. couple of years. Mm -hmm. He's been the stud barn. I was glad to see her back. Believe me, I was. Kendra is a good show one. Yes. And I thought he performed he did. real he, well considering he had been back, in the stud barn for so long. He came back strong. I told Kendra I still got my mare ready.
here's your amateur four-year-old. And I'm here to tell you, Voyager, Paul Simmons, outstanding job, my yes. friend. Outstanding job. Made a real good show. Yes, he did. Voyager took the blue in this class. Shady and General Jack Hippington was reserved. Wise Garfunkel, Libby Stevens, and my brother in arms, Seller Vizi, finished out the ribbons. No, Paul, he loved them, loved showing too. Now, I tell you, he's... I tell you what now, he was in there on Patrick Mahomes, and I'm telling you. Oh, that was a good horse, he, real good horse. He is a super good horse. Yeah. Paul's showing three good horses. Yeah, he is. He is. This horse here is a good horse. Patrick's a real good horse. And his other horse is a good horse. He's got a deal horse that's yeah. really good. It's the for real. Paul's one of our sponsors for the youth show. That was a good class. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he did. I just say all the horses that got in that ring made a good show just to get through yep. the inspection that they had. That's it. <laughs> so, I mean, congratulations. I mean, they, fought up, they fought uphill all the way. All the way. thinking that Paul was from North Carolina, but he's from South, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. I get I get that confused quite yeah. a bit. It, you're up. We'll be right back after these short messages. <laughs> gentlemen as you know I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse but I also have another passion and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money and we've done automobile dealerships shoe stores law offices dentist offices even the breeders association I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida and now for a limited time I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. 
What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. Now we're going to go to Friday night. Yes, sir. And we got some good video from Friday night. They had some good classes. Yeah, Real they good did. classes. That uh, part performance class, shoot, it was tough. <laughs> Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell took the blue in this class. Deal with it, Mickey McCormick for Debbie Marbury. In gold, Edgar, Edgar Abernathy finished out the ribbons. <laughs> Nice ones. I'll tell you what, Kim Lewis is tickled with this horse. Yeah. Dan told me that when he first moved up here, mm -hmm. that Mayor Bill paid the bills. Yeah. When he was still on, on the package. Yeah. Said, and then he took him down to uh, Park Performance and found his true calling. Mm hmm. Through the years, Jerry, a lot of horses that were on pads and brought down to that park shoot seemed like it just elevated. Oh, yeah. Mike Sims was telling me about a horse they had years ago. He said, You couldn't buy a ribbon for that horse. Said he yeah. just did that. He said, They changed the way he was shot, and then you couldn't beat him. Beat him, yeah. You know, all these horses, you can find a, a spot to put them in where they can shine in. That's it. You know, Every one of them got a place. Yeah, a place. If we can get this extreme cowboy competition going with the walking horses, especially in the youth, yes. we're going to find a place for a lot of horses. Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis.
Now right here's a good class. Oh, it is a good class. It's the medalist. And Eli Cunningham takes the blue. Schofield, Elizabeth Thomas Reserve, Cole Hahn, Allie Joe Jacobs, third, and knock on wood, Anderson Collinger. I like that horse right there now. Oh, I do too. Love it. They, I'm going to tell you the truth, though. And James Wilson brought this up said they didn't have time to get him ready to go in the yeah. said that wasn't quite right. But now, Eli on the medalist. Oh, yes. He He's was making a show, boy. Oh, Eli, he rides hard now. He can ride, yes, yep. for sure. That boy doesn't take a back seat to nobody. No, uh-uh. Shaking oh, yeah. and walking. Shaking and walking right there. Walking and shaking right there. Look like that animated horse you have on your show. Right there too. Yeah. These kids, I'm gonna tell you what, these kids riding some good horses. Oh, they are. It's, it's hard to beat these oh, kids. Oh, yeah, it's, it is. Yeah, you know that as well as it I is. do. I'm telling you, that horse right there, the black horse right there is really yeah. good. That horse right there, all them kids made a good show. I'm I'm proud of all of them. Right. I love to watch the yeah. youth. But i tell you what, what I really like. When they called Eli's name out, mm -hmm. I was looking because he's parked in right next to Allie Joe. Yeah. Allie Joe had a big old smile on her face congratulating Uh huh. Here's your winner. It's the medalist. <coughs> Eli Cunningham. She made a great show as she yeah. had her fans up there in the stands. They were tickled with her. I like the sportsmanship this young lady showed. Oh, yes. Here's Black Jen Scout. A good horse. She picked up where she left off on yes. Epic and said, come and watch me go. Tell you what, Megan can ride, though. She's, oh, a, yeah. she's a good jockey. Real good jockey. Open Specialty Championship. And I'm here to tell you, Jimmy told me, he said, El Hombre just needs to catch up a little, and he was yep. right. El Hombre in black, and Jimmy McConnell took the blue, Jake Jacob, power stroke by Jose, Rodney Dick, Balboa, Tanner Burks, the Night King, John Allen Calloway, and Master of Design, Dan Waddell finished out the ribbons.
That El Hombre is a bad oh, cat. Nice thing. Horse. Change that horse around. They have. That horse that Tanner's on is a good horse. For Jake Jacobs. Congratulations. Completely different oh, yeah. than he was. He made a complete turnaround. He did. He did well. He made a real good show. I think we got to go to a commercial. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember you threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 
six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general. But is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms. And go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. Well, we are in the final stages. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's go back to the show, and we're going to start off with the Lemon Under Equitation and Ali Joe Jacobs. Equitation without Ali Joe. You're right. <laughs> you know that little girl works hard at that. Oh yeah. Every Wednesday they go to Kentucky for her to practice. <laughs> she does a good job with it. <laughs> right here, Allison made a great show. Yeah. Twisted with honors. She showed in the Pro-Am. One hit. She come back in this class. Did great. Told me she said I got to make two good shows. I am tickled pink. All right, here's one. This class, I'm going to tell you. Was a good class. Hey, it was. And I'm going to say something about this Koufax. That horse started good and kept building and building and yeah. building. And when it was finally over, he was flat getting it. Yeah. Koufax won it with Blaze Picard in the saddle for the Waggermans. He's a top gun. Tyler Balkum was reserved for Carolyn Evans. Honor on the Ritz, Dan Waddell, Chabney Beasley. Heads up, Jose Winky Groover for David and Libby Dow. But I'm going to tell you, that I horse right there. Piece of work. He's, he's a nice horse. Great head set. Yeah. But he just kept getting better and better and better. I like a horse that builds like yeah. that. I really do. Horse Winky's on doing good. Yep. All them horses, I'm going to tell you, was in that class. I sat there and watched that class. All them horses was good horses in that class. We had a great horse show. A lot of real good horses. And it could have been so much better. Yeah. So much better. That was there. Mommy kind of mind me of the pusher there. Mm -hmm. We had a talented horse show. 
And why I'm saying talented is because all the horses had a lot of talent that was in them classes. The ones that got in, they had a lot of talent. Well, I'll be honest, I got a problem with star rules that only one person can find, horses that only one person can get them to move. Yeah. Foreign substance when you're getting it off the hoof rather than the leg. There's a lot of problems I have with the way our inspections are going. Why I say your horse is being inspected, videoing. Yeah, a good horse. Colfax, right Blaze Picard for Waggerman and Picard. I went and got me some at this horse show that I that I I went and asked for and they gave it to me. What? A USDA book rule book. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go over it so I know and when I see something right I can be able to say, hey. Only one problem with that rule book, Gary, and I'll tell you right now, and I'll tell them, everybody has to follow it, both sides of the nickel, not just one side. Oh yeah. And that's our major problem. Good horse. Yeah, he is. He's great. Right here, Georgia, Florida liner, Robert Dorch. Amateur Show Pleasure Championship Reserve yep. winner. But I can tell you, he made a show now. He did. He made a good show. That's why I say every time you look at this horse right here, you don't care if knocks on him or robbing on him. I mean, you look at him, and I mean, he gonna do the same thing every time you turn your head. He's doing it. If you close your eyes and open your eyes, he gonna be doing the same gait. Same thing. Made a great show. Yep. Right here was the biggie. Yeah. And I tell you what, Mr. True Blue put on a show. Yeah. Out of line wrist was reserved. But I'm gonna tell you, Dan was in there on a super, super good horse. Yeah. And uh, said he kind of messed his canter up, so he took him out. But now that didn't stop him from being good while he was in there. All three of them horses were really yeah. horses in there. Real good. There's Dan. Yep. Dan made a good show. R.E.M. made a good show. And Jimmy Baumgartner made a good show. Tell you what, that true, true blue. Yeah, he's a great horse. And I like, I like the Dan's too. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope all these horses stay healthy. Uh, me too. Till the celebration. And we're going to have a knockdown drag out. Yep. And that I'm looking forward to. Calling on the man. Oh, yeah, he's calling on them now. He's good. There he is, 
Mr. True Blue, R.M. Kelly, for the Jacobs family. Spencer and R.M. makes a good team now, I tell you. Yeah, they do. They, they do. They're a really super, good. super good team. Yeah. He's toting the roses there, yeah. fellas. Not missing a lick. No. That's a fact. All right. Well, Jerry, we got a week off, and then we got the Smokies. Yes. Uh, I won't be going up there, but I did have a, a gentleman that's going to be covering the Smokies for us, and we're going to give us a, a sample of his video in next week here That'll on work. Water Horse. Uh, John Silver, super good guy. He was one that we had out in the center ring Saturday night. Okay. He, he got some great video out there. We're going to show that next week. But he, he'll be there selling victory passes because I'm going to tell you, right now, we don't have a tremendous amount of shows. No. So uh -huh. we have to advertise our horse when we can and get him out there in front of people and get people to the shows. We, yes. These shows have got to become exciting again and that's uh we got an exciting horse we just need people to, people come, to watch. come watch yeah and that's right get more people involved get them involved and riding and the kids you know get a bunch of more kids out there riding and stuff like that well if we're successful with our youth equine show then we can take those funds and courses i you and i've talked about going to some schools showing yes. the kids at schools what our horse can do and then having some new, ex oh, a new type of shows. Yes. Some some competition to where, number one, we don't have to worry about the USDA. Yeah. If we're having extreme cowboy competition, we don't have to worry about them saying, well, that horse is this or that because those horses have to be in pristine condition to perform. Boom. Yeah. So it'll help us. It'll help us get kids involved, and uh, you know as well as I do. A lot of people got in this industry through the flat shot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the first horse I ever rode was a pony. Yeah. And then a horse. And then I rode a performance horse. So people following my footsteps. That's right. That's right. Following your footsteps. And you I, don't don't ride, I don't ride that much now anyway. <laughs> All right. I guess that's it for this week. Appreciate everybody joining us. Jerry, appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Yeah, yes. he, he's, got, he's got his followers now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. And women like like Jerry. They <laughs> seem to come out of the woodwork and want it. their picture made. Ain't nobody ever asked me to have all because, made. All because of you. I'm following you. Oh, I'm, you're following your, me. I'm going your first step. We'll see y'all next see week. See y'all later. <laughs>